Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would come on and share a few projects that I've been working on lately and uh, they qualify for the Blues in July hashtag for inspiration that we have for this month. So if you're working on projects that use blue, feel free to hashtag them Blues in July so we can all check out your designs and be inspired by your creativity. So I thought I would share a few things that I've been working on. Um, so let me go ahead and share the products I use. There's just a few of them here and then I'll show you my samples. Uh, this uh, stamp was from the May a limited edition set from in, uh, Impression Obsession. It says, enjoy the little things. And I wanted to use this sentiment on one of the cards that I made. Uh, this stamp is no longer available from Impression Obsession, but if you purchased the limited edition um, set in May, you would have this uh, stamp in your stash. And uh, it's a perfect one to use. So pull that one out. Then I also used this set here. This is um, currently available. It's called Beach Chair. So there's this really cute fabric sling type chair with an umbrella. There's a little sea star down here, some flip flops, a, a beach hat and a beach ball and a beach bag here as well. And then it has two sentiments, time to relax and enjoy every moment. So I really love this little four by four set, really, really cute. This set was one of my favorites to use. This set also has a companion um, or a coordinating die that's available for purchase separately from the die set or from the uh, stamp set. This one's called Seahorse and Shells. I really loved using this um, seahorse here. The shells stamp out beautifully and I had fun painting them. And then I even used the little star here. Um, and then I die cut a whole bunch of extras and put them in the back of my little packet here. Um, and again, it comes with a great die, or excuse me, there's a die sold separately that's available, but it works perfect. I loved having that to cut out the details of that seahorse there. And then I also used the sentiment from this set. This set doesn't have a name, but it's CL132. And uh, I just really loved this sentiment here. Uh, it says, listen and you will hear of symphony. And I think these images um, are just really beautiful. I especially love this little sand dollar. So... That's sea urchin. I love seeing those on the ocean. Um, and then I also use this. This is a cover a card um, stamp. So it's five and three quarters by five and three quarters square. So you can stamp it on your card, either vertical or horizontal, and it'll cover the whole card front. Um, and the detail on here is uh, wave design. So really, really beautiful stamp and uh, perfect for all the summer and beachy stuff that they've been releasing. I also used one of their inks. Um, I used this one here. It's called Aqua. And uh, I just used it um, to stamp the waves on one of my cards. And the last thing I used um, as far as products go was the uh, Buy the Sea paper pack. And um, I shared this on a previous video, uh, but Impression Obsession has started releasing six by six paper pads. And these partic this particular one and a couple others I'm gonna share with you are uh, photorealism. So they're not um, graphic um, artist illustrations, but they're actually photographs. This one's really cool with the underwater and the reef showing. And uh, so just lots of really beautiful images. And you'll see that I use one of these sheets on a card that I made. I think this one's my favorite. This reminds me of the Oregon coast, this kind of blown seagrass. So I did use a sheet of that. And let me go ahead and share my samples with you. Uh, so the first one I have to share um, uses that uh, sentiment from the make uh, impression of the May limited edition set and then I die cut a couple of these shells and watercolor painted them with some shimmer paints that I have and I think they turned out really fun and I just adhered them then to the card um, using one of the pieces of paper and I think it made a really cute card and super easy as well. Then I uh, made this card and so I die cut the seahorse and one of the shells and this shell I painted um, kind of in rainbow colors and the seahorse here I painted in oranges and uh, reds but then and a little bit of yellow and then I added shimmer paint to him so he's got a really uh, beautiful glistening sparkly belly <laughs> and face. Um, on the background here I used washi tape to um, keep my edges white and then I um, watercolored the background with some undersea green uh, watercolor paint and then I stamped the waves using that aqua um, ink pad and unfortunately I would have wanted to stamp it twice with all the texture of the watercolor paper um, but I think it I think it looks kind of neat like that as well so 
I didn't have the stamp in a positioner at the time, so I kind of had to go with once, once and be done. <laughs> then I have this card as well. Again, I was so um, so much enjoyed using the seahorse. Um, I had to use him again, and he's also painted in uh, yellows and reds, and he has some gold shimmer to him as well. Uh, to create this background, I just used various different colors of blue watercolor paint, even some shimmer watercolor paint. You can see that one has a little bit of sparkle there. Um, and I just splattered it all around on my background. I did stamp um, this little guy here in aqua and it matches the card base and then I use the sentiment from the beach chair set uh, enjoy every moment for this piece here I just used a scrap of watercolor paper and I just painted it with the similar colors that I had on my paintbrush and then just added it as a little bit of a um, crooked banner there behind my sentiment so easy card to make as well and then <coughs> Excuse me, this one uh, was really easy. I just stamped the image on watercolor paper and uh, painted it in. I used uh, various different colors there in the sky, even some shimmer, um, so it has a little bit of sparkle. I should have used some shimmer on the sand, I think, so that it had a little bit of sparkle as well, um, but I did use it on the umbrella. And then I just painted the image with various different um, colored watercolor paints, and I thought it turned out really fun. And when I adhered it to my card base, I only adhered the top edge, so the rest of the watercolor design is uh, loose from the card base. And I like doing um, cards like this. I think they have like a casual feel to them. And uh, with the watercolor paper, it's a nice textured um, paper that pe you know, people may want to feel. So really easy card to make there as well. So those are my projects I have to share with you. I have a couple other things I want to share that are available on the site. Um, I don't have any samples um, made currently. But they have some dyes that are available as well with the beach theme. So here are two seabirds and three wood pilings and three pieces of rope that you could use for accent. I think this die set is really uh, fun and uh, makes really beautiful seabirds. And here's this one. It's a pelican and this one's like a, I don't know, a heron of some sort or egret maybe. Here is a set of six different dolphins. So there's six different... Um, six different dolphins uh, and there's three different sizes there's the two larger ones that have the details with the eyes and the extra flippers and then there's the silhouettes of the medium and small dolphins in in uh, both directions so really fun set this one is really cute as well this is a palm tree set and it has a little um hammock that you can put in between the two trees so really really cute and then the last one is a beach umbrella and it has two of those fabric slingback type chairs so here's the beach umbrella with the um, post and then this would be the two frames of the chair like the two wooden frames of the chair and then the two fabric slings that make up the seat of the uh, beach chairs so really really fun and then the other thing I have to show with share with you are two different paper pads that are available on the site that I noticed um, this one is called autumn scenes gorgeous gorgeous again photorealism and um, I just really love these the photos that uh, they've chosen for these uh, paper pads so you get um, four of each design and there's 12 unique designs and it's 80 pound cardstock so it's a really nice uh, nice weight so isn't that beautiful you could just imagine walking through there and having it be all crunchy <laughs> And here's a beautiful little road going through the forest. Here's some leaves. Here's kind of a spooky forest, a full moon, beautiful. Some storm clouds, a gorgeous wheat field. This looks very much like central Washington and eastern Washington. This is gorgeous. This reminds me of a photo I would have taken down in Texas or even up here um, in Washington. We have some sunflower fields as well. I love this great big sky with that sunflower field down here at the bottom gorgeous and then here's another uh, fall forest again those crunchy maple leaves aren't they gorgeous look at how bright and orange they are so pretty here's one of some silhouetted trees at a sunset some tombstones a spooky forest path love that and then it starts repeating. So gorgeous paper pad. And then the other one I want to share with you is this one. It's available now as well. Uh, this is called Winter Scenes, and you also get four of each design, and there's 12 different designs. So I think this one's going to make for some beautiful Christmas cards. Look at that. I can't even imagine being there. Isn't that mountain range gorgeous? I wonder where this was taken. It's got quite a granite uh, rock face here on this particular one, but gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this. So pretty. This is another really beautiful one as well. Looks like Sunrise. 
Here's a uh, kind of a sepia toned uh, winter forest. There's a couple little yellow leaves up in here. <laughs> um, this is a really beautiful scene here as well. This looks like maybe somebody's front yard. There's a little fence right here. Gorgeous. There's maybe some frost on the window. I bet they took it through the window and so there's some frost showing. Uh, here's a like an aspen forest. Gorgeous. Imagine this in the fall with all those aspen trees um, just having those brilliant uh, yellow leaves. And then this is a gorgeous little scene here. This one has a really dramatic sky, I think. And this one's cute. I like how they added the little bulk of snow in the background here. And these little squat um, pine trees are cute. Here's just kind of a um, general um, open valley scene. Lots of snow. I love this one. This one reminds me a lot of here in the winter. In the mountains around. Here's the one that's kind of interesting. They've got some photo lens like a sun um, flare happening here. There's some big circles here that would be sun flare and then it would wash out this side here as well. So that one turned out really beautiful. Lots of frost on the tall grasses. And then here's a beautiful scene with some um, larch trees. Um, they're the ones that turn yellow and lose their leaves. So they are considered a, a deciduous um, conifer and they don't stay green all year. In the fall, they lose their um, needles. So those are uh, considered a larch tree or a tamarack. Might be another name for them. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at all the frost on those trees. <laughs> I imagine it's really, really cold there. And then it starts repeating. This is so beautiful. So anyways, I thought I would share those with you since I did see that they're available on the site for purchase. And um, that's what I have to share with you. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked my cards. And uh, check out the hashtag blues in July for lots of inspiration uh, being shared both on um, Instagram, Facebook, as well as YouTube. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.